When it comes to don't ask, don't tell arrangements in polyamory, I feel there's a very big difference between saying, don't tell me things unless I explicitly ask for them, and going, don't tell me anything at all, ever. Because while in both scenarios you're not talking about what happens in each other's relationships, at least in the first scenario, there is the ability to opt in to communication and to like talk about like what your boundaries and agreements are. Whereas in the second scenario, which is what I'm usually referring to when I say DADT doesn't work, is just going, nope, I will not talk about polyamory with you. We are not discussing any boundaries and agreements. I'm just going to pretend that this is not happening. And I feel that that brings up a lot of issues logistically and practically and just safety wise as well. So um, that's kind of what I'm referring to when I say don't ask, don't tell doesn't work. I'm not referring to scenarios where like you might be uncomfortable around kind of, you know, boundaries and privacy and disclosure and you need time to figure that stuff out. Like that's fine. You don't need to know absolutely everything, but you need to communicate. <laughs>